Wear and Care Guide, Above Knee Prosthesis. Thank you for choosing Hanger Clinic for your care. We are here to help ease your experience by ensuring you feel comfortable and confident when wearing and caring for your above knee prosthesis. Your above knee prosthesis has been custom designed to help you achieve your personal rehabilitation and mobility goals. To help ensure you get the most out of your prosthesis, please listen to the following instructions to learn how to put on your prosthesis, care for your skin, and clean your device. You will also be provided with guidance on a typical wearing schedule, treatment plan, and follow-up appointment schedule. If at any point you have specific questions about your treatment plan, please contact your Hanger Clinic prosthetist. What to expect. Your prosthetist will make sure that your prosthesis fits well and that you feel comfortable putting it on and taking it off. Regular follow-up appointments are important to check the fit and function of your prosthesis along with your ongoing rehabilitation goals. Please follow all instructions from your doctor, prosthetist, and therapist as each person's prosthetic system is unique. Always feel free to speak with your prosthetist about any questions or concerns and keep the following in mind. Be sure to gradually increase wearing time with your new prosthesis. If you notice any damage or unusual noises from your prosthesis, call your hanger clinic prosthetist as soon as possible. If you gain weight, lose weight, or the fit changes, make an appointment to check your fit. Visit your prosthetist every six months for a checkup, even if everything is going well. After receiving your prosthesis, you may find it helpful to work with a physical therapist to improve walking ability, balance, and conditioning. Inform our office if you are moving so we can help you arrange for care at another of our Hanger Clinic offices nationwide. Putting on your prosthesis. Your limb should be clean, dry, and free of lotions before applying the liner. A silicone or gel liner with a pen or lanyard is rolled directly onto your leg, touching your skin. Attention to detail is very important to ensure proper fit of your prosthesis. Roll the liner inside out completely so the silicone or gel is facing outward. Place the liner at the end of your residual limb and gently roll the liner on so that there are no wrinkles or trapped air. Be sure that the pin or lanyard is lined up correctly with the end of your limb. Prosthetic Sock Prosthetic socks help maintain the comfort and performance of your prosthesis. If you have been given prosthetic socks, you may add or remove them to adjust the fit as instructed by your prosthetist. Your residual limb may change in size and shape over the course of a day or from day to day. Prosthetic socks can help you manage these changes. These changes are normal due to activity, fluid retention, temperature, and weight changes. If your limb gets smaller over time, you may need to wear additional socks to fill the extra space. Once you reach eight to 10 ply of socks, please see your prosthetist for an adjustment. Add socks over the liner and not directly on the skin, unless otherwise instructed. Socks should always be pulled fully and smoothly over the limb because wrinkles can cause abrasions or irritate the skin. You may fold the top of the sock over the socket brim if you desire. If you have a locking liner, check that the sock is not wrapped around the pin, as this may cause it to get stuck in the lock. Adding a sock can aid in limb comfort, protection, and suspension by increasing the tightness of the socket. Signs that your limb is falling too far into the socket include pain at the bottom of your limb or in the groin, a feeling of looseness, rotation, or visible gapping while standing. Your limb slides into the socket too quickly redness or tingling at the end of the limb after use. Your prosthesis suddenly feels too short. Socks come in different thicknesses called ply. The color of the band at the top of the sock indicates its ply. Although these colors typically represent the same ply regardless of the manufacturer, there is a small chance that they could vary. Start by adding a one ply sock and increase ply as needed. If you have added a sock, make sure that your limb still goes all the way into the prosthesis. Your socket should fit snug to your limb. Socks can be worn in multiples. For example, wearing a green and blue sock at the same time means you have applied eight ply of socks. Remove a sock if your limb is not getting all the way into the socket or if the prosthesis suddenly feels too tall. Always take a few steps in place to ensure your limb is secure in the socket and to expel any air before walking.
wearing schedule. Your prosthetist will provide a personalized break-in schedule to gradually increase the amount of time you spend in your new prosthesis each day, including sitting, standing, and walking time. In general, we suggest you start wearing it for 30 minutes to an hour in the morning and the afternoon on the first day, and then increase the morning and afternoon wearing time by one hour each day until you've reached a full day of wear. Be sure to check your skin after each wearing period. A typical wearing schedule may look something like the following. Day one, half hour morning and half hour afternoon evening. Day two, one hour morning and one hour afternoon evening. Day three, two hours morning and two hours afternoon evening. Day four, three hours morning and three hours afternoon evening. Day five, four hours morning and four hours afternoon evening. Day six, five hours morning and five hours afternoon evening. Day seven, six hours morning and six hours afternoon evening. Day eight, all day. Skin care. It is very important to keep a close eye on your skin. Check your skin several times a day using a mirror to inspect the bottom of your limb. If you see red areas that do not clear up within 30 minutes of removing your prosthesis, blisters, or broken skin, do not wear your prosthesis until you speak with your prosthetist or until your skin heals completely. Sweating is common, especially in hot weather. You may experience more sweating than normal at first. Don't worry, your body will typically adjust to produce less sweat as you adjust to wearing your prosthesis. If sweating continues and you are concerned, talk to your prosthetist about recommended solutions. Your residual limb will go through a maturation period during the first few months to a year of prosthesis wear, sometimes shrinking or swelling. If you experience swelling, try wearing your shrinker when your prosthesis is off, including when you sleep. Cleaning instructions. Cleaning your liners. The gel portion of your liner needs to be cleaned daily to prevent odors and bacteria growth. You may be given two liners to rotate every day so that you always have a clean, dry liner. Turn the liner inside out and wash the gel side with warm water and soap using your hand or a soft washcloth. We recommend washing the liner in your skin daily with a small amount of liquid antibacterial soap. Rinse well with a gentle stream of water, but do not submerge it. Always hang or lay to dry with the fabric side facing out to prevent the gel from cracking. Once a week, you may wipe the gel of the liner with rubbing alcohol and a soft cloth. Handle your liner and other supplies with care to avoid tears and holes. Once you see or feel wear spots, contact your prosthetist. Cleaning your socks and shrinkers. Socks worn directly on the skin should be washed at least once a day in order to maintain good hygiene of the limb. Rotate socks so you do not wear out any one too quickly. Wash by hand with mild soap and water and lay flat to dry. Avoid wringing socks or placing in the dryer as this may wear out the elastic. Cleaning your socket. Each day, you should wipe down both the inside and outside of your socket with a soft cloth to maintain cleanliness and extend the life of your prosthesis and supplies. You can clean the socket at night with soapy water or alcohol, leaving ample time for drying before using again. Do not submerge in water as most prostheses are not waterproof. Shoes. Changing your shoes can have a dramatic effect on how your prosthesis functions. Please do not change the shoes you wear until you bring all of the shoes you would like to wear and your prosthesis to your hanger clinic office so we can adjust the shoes to work properly with your prosthesis. Appointment schedule. Your prosthetist will set a schedule to review your progress over the coming weeks and months. Our goal is to do everything we can to help you achieve your potential. We at Hanger Clinic would like to remind you that as you go through this journey, you are not alone. The Hanger Clinic Amp Power Program provides people with peer mentorship, educational resources, and community events. Start today by speaking with one of over a thousand trained peer mentors nationwide. Call 1-844-AMPOWER to learn more. We hope you found these instructions helpful. Our goal is to do everything we can to help you achieve your potential. 
your Hanger Clinic prosthetist is available to answer your questions and support you in any way they can. Visit HangerClinic.com to learn more.